Good Friday morning, Glads. I'm Kieran Doolittle. And I'm Daniel Robinson, and this is your KWHS News. In Counseling Center news, if you filled out an application to attend PPCC this fall, they will be here next Wednesday, April 11th, to help you select classes. You do need an appointment for this visit, so stop by the Counseling Center to pick that up. On Thursday, April 12th, college visits kick off with the reps from Black Hills State University in South Dakota. Juniors interested in attending CSU Fort Collins after graduation, their admissions team will be here at 11 a.m. on April 20th in the Lower Commons. To attend this visit, you must be passing your fourth hour class. Stop by the Counseling Center to sign up. On Tuesday, April 24th, mark your calendar for the visit from the U.S. Air Force Academy admissions team. They will be in the WHS Auditorium at 6.30 p.m. with a full-blown presentation on life as a cadet as well as how to navigate the admissions process. If you're even slightly interested or curious about attending the academy, bring your parents and join them for this presentation. Recent academy grads will be available to answer any questions you may have. Seniors, if you did not pick up your Herf Jones order or you recently placed an order for announcements, they will be back on Wednesday, April 11th during lunch. Remember, your order must be paid for and you need an ID before you can pick up your order. Check with Ms. Abeda in the Counseling Center for more information. Remember, caps and gowns won't be here until the first week of May. And two more announcements for seniors. Now that we're into the month of April, there will be a lot of graduation information coming at you from the Counseling Center. Please remember to check in with Ms. Abeda with your college acceptance letters, scholarships, grants, and all other award letters you have received, even if you are not accepting them. They want to ensure you receive proper recognition at Senior Awards Night. Seniors, if you have any conditions and fees, please pay those before graduation in the WHS Business Office or you cannot receive your diploma. And for students in all other grades, please check Infinite Campus to determine if you are on conditions and get those fees paid before the end of the year. And now it's time to check in with Miss Betsy for today's lunch menu. Happy Friday, everybody. Today for lunch, we're having chicken bowls, mashed potatoes, gravy, corn, chicken and cheese on top so come on down and see us and then on monday we're gonna have a chicken sandwich hey hope to see you then bye thanks miss betsy students you've heard us say this countless times please remember to add money to your lunch account by going online or seeing miss betsy in the cafeteria if you need something to consume that is free check out free book cart in the library they have a variety of selections available nhs members you will have a mandatory meeting today at lunch in the library Please check with Ms. HK or Brandon Parrott if you are unable to attend. We'll be back after the Gladiator Sports Update with prom and other events happening this week. But first, here's John Christofferson with some sporting news. It's Friday morning, Glads. I'm John Christofferson with your Gladiator Sports Update. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. You heard right, it's dodgeball tournament time. Sign up outside of Miss Melton's room. Cost is $5 per five member team. The tournament will take place the week before prom and winners will play at the prom assembly. The deadline to sign up is next Wednesday, April 11th. Will the bad hombre seek another title? Come find out for yourselves. If you like eating at Panda Express, the NJROTC cadets would love your support. Today, April 6th from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. at the Highway 8587 location. See a cadet for a flyer and a portion of your proceeds will go to the NJROTC. Ladies, if you are interested in playing volleyball next year, open gyms started on Wednesday and they will run from 315 to 415 and every Wednesday until May. Check in with Miss Lacey in room 105 for details and information. The boys in blue took to the diamond yesterday against the Elizabeth Cardinals and rallied for the win. The boys are resting this weekend before they travel to TCA next Tuesday to take on the Titans at 4 p.m. In track news, the varsity track team is on the road again to Pueblo to participate in the John Tate Invitational at Dutch Clark Stadium. This team is showing some great promise, so go out and support them if you can. The ladies soccer team traveled to Sierra High School yesterday to take on the Stallions and kicked in a long-awaited win. Way to go, ladies! The ladies are home on Saturday morning at 10 a.m. against the Falcon Falcons. They could really use some support. Stay to cheer on the JV team at noon. 
With nice weather this weekend, the Ultimate Frisbee team would appreciate some support. Catch them outside on Saturday when they take on TCA in a doubleheader at El Pamar Sports Complex starting at 10 a.m., followed by their second match at noon. In tennis news, our ladies team traveled to Mitchell yesterday and aced the matches for the win. The ladies are in tournament play this weekend against Pueblo County at the Pueblo City Park Courts. Come support them if you can. The boys swim team will dive back in the water next Thursday, April 12th at home against Pueblo Centennial. The team may be young, but they are making some strong splashes. And finally, it's time to start planning your outfits for Spirit Week in celebration of prom. Here's the lineup. Monday is Marika Day. Tuesday is Twin Day. Wednesday is Fashion Disaster Day. Thursday is Dress to Impress Day. And Friday is Color Wars Day. Freshmen, your color is black. Sophomores, your color is gray. Juniors, your color is white. And seniors, your color is blue. That's it for our Gladiator Sports Update. Good luck to our athletes this week. I'm John Christofferson, and now back to you, Kieran and Daniel. Thanks, John. Glads, it's already April and soon final exams will be on our doorstep. No worries, NHS has you covered because tutoring is back. NHS will offer tutoring sessions in the library during advisory on Thursdays until final exams. If you need help with a class or studying for a test, pick up a tutoring pass from the library on Thursday morning, then come back during advisory. They will have computers available for these sessions. Juniors and seniors, the masquerade prom is less than three weeks away on Saturday, April 21st from 6.30 p.m. to midnight at the Doubletree World Arena. Ticket prices are now $50 per person, and the last day to buy them is April 17th. Remember, you cannot buy tickets at the door, so get your tickets in the business office now. Please make a note of these simple rules for wearing masks at the prom. All masks must be pre-approved, so please check in with Ms. Molino in room 166 or Ms. Fowler in room 144 during lunch and after school through Friday before prom. You can wear your masks in the ballroom area, but when you're in the general hotel area, including at the check-in, chaperones must be able to see your beautiful faces. Oh, and remember, masks must be removable and full face masks are not allowed. Prom outside guest forms are now available in the main office. The deadline to return them to ensure your date can attend the prom is next Friday, April 13th. Ladies, come shop for your prom dress in Becca's closet. Make your appointment in the library with Miss HK and remember, the dress you select is yours to keep. FCCLA will be having a very important meeting on Monday during lunch in room 163 with Miss Tuji. They will be discussing community service opportunities and every Everyone is welcome to attend. See you there. And finally, if you are looking to earn some extra cash this summer and are at least 17 years old, WSD3 Facilities is hiring. They are looking for summer grounds and crew workers. You can expect to do some of the following duties landscaping, painting, playground repair, and moving furniture. This is a full-time position for summer and you must have a valid driver's license. To apply, please go to WSD3.org. The deadline is May 11th. That's all for our news today. I'm Kieran Doolittle. I'm Daniel Robinson and this is your KWHS News. Have a great weekend.